my beautiful cancer friends how are you welcome back to sacred knowledge tarot i am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today so thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel hello and welcome my friends my name is ria and i do these readings every week now cancer i'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you then i'm going to pull a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right cancer let's pull some cards here and see what spirit guides would like you to know towards the end of december we are getting the judgment card this is a major arcana card everyone so the energy of this card is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. So you're going through a judgment moment here. This is where your life is about to shift in a very big way, Cancer. We're going to take a look at this card a little bit more. So we're going to start with the judgment card. We're also starting with the Ace of Cups. So new beginnings here, and this is why you have the judgment card, because you're making way for this absolutely beautiful new beginning for yourselves. And this is where your heart is overflowing with joy and excitement here, okay? So what I want you to do, Cancer, is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Ace of Cups, I love this for you. And the Page of Wands. So you've been on a journey here, Cancer, and it's been a long time uh, for some of you to really reach this point in your life. And I feel that a lot of different things are about to happen here for you. And there's a lot of lessons that some of you have learned along the way as well. And you're rightfully in the place that you're coming to now in your life. So own that power. All right. So I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating, please leave it behind. All right. So Feel free, Cancer, to share with me in the comment section below what these cards mean for you in your current life situation. So the judgment card is really interesting because something has recently happened in some of your lives where you're starting to see things very differently in your life. Maybe there's some sort of a truth that was revealed or you're starting to realize that, oh my gosh, this is not where I wanted to be this is not where i saw myself a long time ago but yet here we are and i feel that some of you are about to shift your life and there's almost like this um renewal energy that is coming in for some of you and you're making a big decision somewhere in your life around something specific and it, it's almost like this metamorphosis or this this transition phase for some of you and what I'm picking up on here is this icky, gooey patch that you're going through. It doesn't feel good and it's just gross and you're kind of like, oh, I want this to be over. And it's it's that cocoon phase for a cocoon phase for some of you where you're about to break free and become that beautiful butterfly. All right. So I want you to take that in some of you out there that are watching because I feel for you, you're about to embark on a brand new journey and I'm picking up on the fool card, even though we have the ace of cups. This is what it's feeling like to me that you're taking this big risk. You're taking this leap of faith. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting the universe and you're just going to go for it and see what happens. Right. It's kind of like the Kijaugi. That's what I say in Punjabi. That's my motto in life. It means we'll see what happens. And anything, uh, anytime I'm faced with something, a challenge, 
I don't run from it. Instead, I'm like, Vicky Jogi, we'll see what happens. Let's see what, what, we, what we can do, how we can navigate through this, right? That's what I'm picking up for you. There's almost this energy also for some of you where you're letting go of the old version of you. This old version of living, these habits, these routines, these things that don't serve your higher purpose. And perhaps some of you are going through some sort of a health um, scare, right? This is what I'm picking up on. Something that has recently come in that is changing your perspective. So perhaps you have been told that you need to change your lifestyle because it's affecting your health and you're having to make changes according to that, which can be difficult for some of us, right? I went through this judgment period where I found out that I had Hashimoto's disease and I also have high blood pressure and I feel it's tied to that. So I've been changing things in my life. I have to actually make a full on lifestyle change in order to live a more healthy lifestyle. And for me, I feel that the most difficult thing has been exercising <laughs> because I haven't exercised my whole life. So now I'm having to incorporate exercise into my life. I usually walk, I used to walk all the time, but because I don't work my nine to five, I don't take that one hour lunch break to speed walk every day. So um, I have to incorporate exercise into my life. So uh, yoga, Pilates, uh, doing different, different kinds of things. Um, but I'm letting go of that old version of myself. And I feel for a lot of you cancers out there that this is kind of what some of you are going through is there is this period, this moment in your life that has shown up, uh, whether you had wanted this or not, but it's kind of shining this light. Uh, it's like a spotlight on your life that you only you're seeing and you're, you're starting to recognize all these things that you have to change in your life in order to, to bring about positive changes. And I feel this the end of December into January is where you're going to start. Um, some of you are already taking action to do this, right? Some of you already gone through this uh, in your life earlier this year, but I feel that you're making way for this new energy to come into your life and you're going to see some profound changes which are showing up in, in your spread today. So I feel don't fight this energy here cancer allow things to flow you also flow with this energy because it's leading you towards happiness okay it's leading you towards emotional fulfillment and satisfaction and it's leading to you also towards health right and i feel it's important that you understand that, that this temple that we live in is very important and we have to take care of it and I, I feel really strongly that for some of you, this is health related. Okay. And, and for others, it's just, you know, perhaps you have envisioned yourself somewhere in life, but now you're kind of here, whatever that is for you. And you're starting to recognize that, okay, some of the choices that I've made that led me here, some of the things that I have in my routine, my habits, the patterns that I have. And because you're recognizing it, you're making those necessary changes in order to allow those new beginnings to come in. So I'm seeing profound changes here for some of you. And you, it's you, Cancer. You're the one that's making this happen for yourself. You are the one that is uh, in power here. You're the one that can choose to shift your life here. So I want you to choose you. I want you to choose to really focus on bettering yourself and your environment here okay and look at this there is that new beginning that's meant to come in after you clear that clutter okay it's clutter i always find that it's for me personally i call all the things that don't belong to us clutter right and we accumulate them along our journey and some of you have been on this really long journey and you're well seasoned in life here, Cancer, some of you, and you've seen a lot, you've been through a lot, you've experienced a lot, and it's taken a toll on some of you. And you're at this point now where you're seeing this new beginning very clearly. You're seeing the bigger picture around it and you're understanding the bigger picture around it. So there's this uh, almost like this renewed energy within you that is um, visualizing or seeing or becoming aware of what can be and you're following that now. So this new beginning and I, I feel you're going to love this, like this new journey that you're going to be on, you're going to absolutely love it. You're already feeling that beautiful energy within you. Some of you are embarking on this new journey where you are following your passions, you're following your heart, you're really tuning into spirit and the universe 
and you're taking the signs and you're following them. I, I feel meditation for a lot of you is going to be very good. It's going to have a positive impact in your life, especially those of you that have a hard time um, making decisions in your life. I do feel that I'm picking that up on the judgment card here. And you know, the judgment card, whenever I have a major arcana card, especially being the judgment card, there is a profound change that is coming into your life. And if you're not already experiencing it right now, Cancer, it's coming into your life here. And I, I feel that for some of you, you're going to experience this in the next month or so. Okay, if it already hasn't happened. And I want you to visualize what it is that you want, what it is that you, where you want to be, right? This time next year. Don't put a too stretch of a, a, don't do a long stretch of a goal. I want you to think in like one year increments. I feel that this is where you can make the most uh, impact in your life if you're able to. You want to obviously have a bigger picture, like dream as big as you possibly can. Have that dream there, but create goals that are going to get you there. Like you're creating a bridge, but you're stacking that bridge one at a time with goals. So implementing vision boards, um, positive affirmations, mantras, and prayers are going to help you have a positive impact in your life. And I feel some of you are going to connect with people on a much more deeper, deeper level as well. There's almost like some of you finally releasing old energies, um, just weight that you've been carrying around, any kind of pains or hurts that you have picked up along your journey here that has to do with past relationships, connections that perhaps didn't work out. Maybe you carried it around and weren't open to other connections that are coming in. So I'm getting this like soulmate energy coming in for some of you where you're going to run into your soulmate. Um, you're going to build this connection that is in alignment for you. I feel whoever this person is that's coming in has also gone through a really tough journey. So there's almost this familiarity with this energy coming in for you where not only are you going to connect, but you're going to understand one another on a more deeper level. And this is really going to open you up to a whole new experience in your life. So I feel that there's a connection coming in that is meant for you here, Cancer. So you want to be open and receptive, um, not to block this energy. You also want yourself to be a little bit vulnerable here because whoever this person is that's coming in, I feel that they're also wanting to be vulnerable, but they're trying to meet somebody that is uh, kind of in the same vibe or energy as them. So there's a connection coming. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a business partner. This could be like a kindred spirit, someone that you're meant to meet, someone that you're meant to connect with that is going to open you up to a whole new experience in life. And I feel for some of you, you're traveling, perhaps you're wanting to travel in your life and you find a friend that's also wanting to do the same thing and you do this together. Or you're someone that is retired or thinking about retiring and you and your spouse are finally realizing it's time to downsize, letting go of the old and really coming into this new energy where you're freeing yourself up to travel or do these things that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. So I'm seeing some of you, um, you know, re releasing yourself from your home. Maybe you have some businesses that perhaps you've been kind of trying to do this thing with this business for a long time and you're not seeing success around it. Or maybe it's just too much work and it's now time to sell this business off. I'm seeing some of you like just letting go of that old energy, uh, selling it off and really freeing up the space, uh, freeing up, uh, like releasing stress out of your life. So you're able to really focus on that one thing, which could be just focusing it on yourself, your own growth, um, maybe starting another business or maybe you have one that you're not able to give enough energy to. Uh, but I'm seeing you opening yourself up to all these things and you're seeing the bigger picture around things you're understanding and it's just this beautiful energy in your life right now, Cancer, and you're the one that's calling the shots. There's certainty there, your decision-making skills, just quieting out the noise here. For those of you that aren't able to make a decision, maybe you're uncertain about what it is that you need to do I want to ask you, what is it that you want here, Cancer? What are you looking at? Like, what are you envisioning for yourself? If you're certain that, okay, this is the kind of life I want. I don't want this stress. Get rid of that stress. It's not that hard to do. Just get rid of it, right? Release yourself from all of that and start fresh and new because 
it's coming in this newness and you're going to experience that overflowing of abundance and success that love that joy that excitement in your life and you're going to be so glad that you cleared yourself of all of these things that are weighing you down right now so i feel for a lot of you it's just about making a big decision in your life and just doing the thing that it is that you want to do and sometimes when we're trying to sell things off or shift things it takes time there can be delays so breathing through that energy and being patient as you go through this transition okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck so some of you have been seeing animals or insects in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what it is that you need to hear today, Cancer. So we are getting spider spirit. Make your dreams real, everyone. So have any of you seen a spider recently? If you have, this is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now. So this card has the number 56 on it. So perhaps this is a number of significance for some of you. Um, those of you that are looking for timing, five to six months is coming up here, five to six days or five to six weeks. May and June being months of importance for some of you. So I want you to keep that date, those months in mind. May the 6th or June the 5th being significant dates for you. So look at that, Spider's Spirit. I'm going to go ahead and read you the oracle message for this card and the protection message today. So the oracle message is weaving your dreams into the fabric of life begins with a single thread of intention and then spirit joins you as your co-weaving partner. Take but a single step to make your dream a reality and spirit will take 10 towards you. For the universe is designed to support your dream weaving. Spider spirit arrives when you need reminding of the awesome power of co-creation with spirit. Ideas and resources will appear to seem to appear as if by magic as you begin to bring your dreams from the realm of intention into the world of senses where they take form. The action you need to take is to be clear about your intentions and then act as if you have become the one that lives the life that you desire. The web of creation has an uncanny way of coming together to weave the beautiful pattern you set into motion. Another message for, of Spider Spirit is about any creative project you may be considering, whether it be writing, painting, music, journaling, gardening, or anything, whatever it is. Now is the time when inspiration wants to be channeled through you as something creative, even artistic and tangible. Creative projects are successful now. If you are so inclined, let yourself be open to abundance. This is lining up really well with the Ace of Cups for you today. Now, the protection message on this card is, are you expecting your dreams to weave themselves into reality? Are you stuck in the sticky web of weaving dreams but never following through? The thread of intention isn't enough to make dreams a reality unless you do your part in the weaving cancer. Spider Spirit wants you to know that your plans will remain ephem ephemeral unless you commit to being productive and industrious for Spirit will not do it all for you. Magic needs to be instigated, so begin to make your dream a reality by taking action today. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? Can you release your limiting beliefs, Cancer? Your dream is worthy of weaving. Today is a day to choose one small step towards your dream. Remember, spirit is your weaving partner. You just have to be the first one to bring the thread to the loom, then continue to do your part. So look at that. That is your spider message today. So embrace spider spirit, Cancer. All right, I'm now going to pull your angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and a guidance today. You can also use this as an affirmation. So we're getting the number 44. I am supported. You, my friends, are supported. So if you've been seeing the number 44, this is your confirmation. And, you know, in numerology, the number four is all about 
laying solid foundations. It's about building stability and security in your life. Four plus four is eight, which is a power number. It's about you taking your power, taking action, being brave and courageous and mastery as well. So the message on this card is your angels are encouraging you to continue on your pre uh, present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. So look at that. So that is your angel number. This is your message. This is your reading. If it resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.